Hey guys, I think I'm ready to share a new project. Uh, I've been working on this project for a long time now. It's probably been about two years. I've been coming back and forth with it. I've changed it a few times, um, but I kind of don't really show anything off until I'm fully produced and ready to go because I live in an age of people just stealing ideas and people pop it up on Kickstarter with your idea in about three seconds. So um, I hold things off for a while. Uh, my original intent was just to make a big beefy bottle opener. I liked the idea of using a big piece of steel and uh, make a big strong sturdy bottle opener. But like most things I do, I try to make, I go a little bit too complicated with things then I backtrack. Uh, and I had this uh, bottle opener that kind of looked like a karambit. And I had, play, I was playing around with it and I had, uh, had it stuck to my fridge and I came up with the idea that I was going to build something that would stick on a flat surface like you know like a coke machine bottle opener and you can crack a bottle uh, so I was like I, I play around neodymium magnets all the time I've been really I've been into magnets for a long time I'm into uh, specifically really strong ones they're called N52 neodymium magnets they're the strongest ones you can get and I put a magnet in the center and turned out that it doesn't it doesn't hold properly with it in the center because these magnets have its polar polarity on the sides. So you have, oh, it popped off. So your polarities are on the sides of the magnet, not on the edges. So what ends up happening is the pull force on the magnet's only on the sides. So when you place it inside, it will not have enough strength to actually hold it to the surface. So my idea was that if I took metal plates like a cabinet magnet, and put it on the sides. It takes the pull force from the sides and projects it to those metal plates so that the magnetic force goes to the outside edges. So now on the back you have north on one side and south on the other. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to work. This is MagnaView film. This is supposed to show you the actual magnetic field and you can see that the magnetic field goes off to the sides it actually it'll help hold it on these things are way too strong um, so together it works great it holds very strong uh, with the hole is really necessary in this also because you'll never be able to get it off but you can't get enough purchase area to actually pull it off of the thing so this was the first prototype after that I went with a few different hole placements and uh, I it's still it was still a little too complicated so I scaled it down a little bit more Get this bar uh, and obviously this one I've messed around with and I've anodized it and I don't know what I did with that so the final production version of this I would say is more robotic in a way So, when stuck to a surface, whether it be a fridge, uh, tool, chest, whatever it is, it'll crack off with one pull. If you really ripped at it, it will pop off, um, but if you just use a cash, it'll work fine. Uh, it's in the Krambit style, and uh, it's it, it's a great tool for in uh, I'd say in office, in garage use. I wouldn't carry it on my person only because it'll clear your credit cards kill somebody with a pacemaker uh, and at one point I did get stuck to my car so it's a really strong magnet these magnets have a strength of let's say about 38 pounds so you can see internally inside here it's a pretty big magnet right. so then after they made this one uh, I wanted something that was more pocketable more EDC usage so I came up with a smaller design this one works in the same concept as the other one. You have a magnet in the core, you have stainless plates on the outside. The core of these, this is, uh, this is quarter inch thick tit titanium plate. And the handles are a stainless steel, but it's a specific stainless steel, so it's not ma it's uh, magnetic. Most well, stainless steels are not magnetic. So this functions the same way as that one. It will not crack a bottle from a flat surface, but it has, uh, I think, about 10 pounds pull strength on this one. It really, it's a very cool feeling when you're, when you can actually feel the, the strength of this magnet. It's it's rare to have magnets in your on your person or even be able to play with of this strength. 
Uh, so this is multi-tool. It's a very it's a very basic multi-tool, but it functions really well. Um, the bottle opener design in general is an ambidextrous bottle opener design, so it can be pulled from both sides. It has center uh, uh, bending. I don't know, there's no word for it, but uh, it, it cracks from the center, which is very important when it comes to popping bo um, bottle caps because anything that cracks to the outer edge, it really just pries. It'll never pop it off. This will pop it off well, every try. Um, the end has a pry bar slash um, screwdriver tip. And I really didn't want to go crazy tool heavy with it. I just wanted a really well functioning bottle opener. Um, and they're very cool. They're titanium. I can anodize them. I can do all sorts of crazy stuff with them. But it's just a fun little bottle opener, little pocket multi tool. So I'll show you a little video of uh, the, act, the thing in action in a few seconds. Uh, along with all of these, I'm going to include a safety sheet that talks about a rundown. It's pretty much a generalized safety sheet that comes with most neodymium, neodymium magnets. Um, and it'll give you a little uh, little background on the magnets. Uh, I'm going to produce these, probably the small ones in bigger quantities than the large ones. Large ones are a little bit more expensive to make, and I can only make a smaller amount at a time. But these small ones, I'll be making a lot more of. Uh, when they do go on sale, I'll post up on my Facebook, uh, my Instagram, and my Etsy's, which are all named Ansler Knives, if you want to search me out on the internet. Um, and if there is none available on my Etsy's, uh, then you could check storefronts. I do give things to Blade HQ, Blade Ops, Phoenix Outfitters, and whoever else I see fit. Um, but if they're all out, then it's probably likely that I am sold out, whether it be this or Razors or whatever it is. Uh, I make things in batches and things come and go and it just takes time to make things so I need time to produce but let me show you these things up next to each other went very structural with this. I wanted them to be real beefy and strong and heavy and just feel like they really could last forever. Um, I will probably end up carbonizing the tip of this just because I have the ability to and um, possibly carbonizing the, carbonizing the insides of this. But they use same hardware. This is obviously missing the screws right now. And the final production I believe is more refined in the inside here. Uh, these things really are super duper strong, these magnets. It took a while to figure out the dimensions and the actual like uh, angles needed to pop the bottle without spilling it, how much mag magnetic force was needed. How say you know, obviously I try to get things down as small as I possibly can. But I'm gonna produce a bunch of different products with uh, magnets. And these are the first two. I have a few other concepts that I'm working on right now, so those will be coming up next. I just have to finish them. Right. Let me show you this in use now. So you have your magnetic surface, whether it be a fridge, cooler, uh, workbench, uh, magnet goes on flat. Take your bottle. And it'll crack it right off. You, like I said before, if you really tear at it, you're asking for trouble and you're going to end up ripping it off. But uh, in general, you do it straight. It'll pop off every time perfectly. And it's super strong. It's always going to crap the cap. But... All right, thanks for watching. I'll have more projects soon. Uh, stay tuned on my Instagram, my Facebook, and uh, I'll probably show up something very shortly. Thanks.